Before operating any piece of equipment, please adhere to all safety and warning labels provided in your operation manual. This video is intended to be a brief explanation on what the features are and how to operate the Aaron Arc 300H hydraulic all-in-one power system with remote control panel. This machine has a comprehensive array of controls and indicators for each function of the machine system. Understanding the correct operation of the Aaron Arc 300H system will help you understand and recognize when the system is operating properly. Please refer to the operation manual for further operating procedures and explanations. At the heart of the Aaron Arc 300H is the remote control panel. This panel has the ability to be mounted in a variety of locations and can operate multiple functions on the Aaron Arc 300H. The remote control panel has several sections. The machine power on-off switch and indicator lamps are located at the top of the panel as well as the hour meter. To the right are the DC welder and 12 volt charge and 12 24 volt boost indicators. The DC volts and amp meter and amperage voltage adjustment knob are located here. Below are the generator controls including thermal breakers the 240 and 120 volt receptacles, and the AC generator on-off switch. To the right is the digital readout of the AC hertz and voltage meter. Next to the hertz and voltage meter is the compressor air pressure gauge and compressor on-off toggle switch. Below are the welder lead connections. To the left are the battery boost charge cable connections. Refer to your operation manual when looking at the major machine components locations. This would include the AC generator, the DC generator, the hydraulic manifold, the hydraulic motor, the air oil coalescer filter, the compressor oil drain hose, the rotary screw air compressor, the hydraulic supply and return, the air moisture drain, the air outlet, the compressor fluid fill port, the compressor oil filter, four gallon air tank reservoir, the pressure relief valve, the pressure switch, the hydraulic and compressor coolers, and the fuses and relays. Prior to operating, make sure that all the oils are at their proper levels. This includes the compressor and hydraulic reservoir. Add as needed. Make sure any obstructions are removed from blocking adequate airflow to the machine. All user functions are controlled at the control panel. Check to make sure that all switches are in the off position prior to starting the machine. Note: The hydraulic motor functions are controlled by the position of the compressor, welder, and generator switch on the control panel. Refer to the motor throttle control function conditions in the operational manual to determine the machine's system's output functions. Start the truck and engage the PTO. Let the truck's engine run at idle for three to five minutes to allow for warm-up sequence. Turn the machine control switch to the on position. This will allow the machine to calibrate operating features. After the system has calibrated, you are free to begin operation of the machine as needed. Warning, when attempting any welding procedure, the operator must be aware of all general safety practices and procedures. Refer to your operation manual for further assistance. Attach the weld cables to the correct weld lugs. Depending on the welding that's to be done, typical use would be electrode positive and the work ground cable negative. Determine the type of welding you plan to perform. CC for constant current or stick and arc welding, or CV for constant voltage for wire or MIG welding. Select Weld Mode. Note, in CC mode, the unit will stay in standby mode until you strike an arc to weld. Adjust the power dial for proper amperage or voltage, depending on which mode you are in. The range is 40 to 300 amps and 15 to 40 volts. The green LED will illuminate, showing which setting is digitally displaying. Attach work ground cable to workpiece being repaired. Touch electrode to workpiece and after two seconds, the unit will begin producing weld output to make the repairs. If there is no weld activity after 30 seconds, the hydraulics will bypass the motor and wait for the operator to repeat the process. 
To utilize the CV or constant voltage welding mode, you will need a wire feeder for this operation, such as a suitcase feeder that is of a voltage sensing configuration. These are obtained from any local welding supply store, online, or Van Air can assist with this operation. For operation of a voltage sensing suitcase feeder, install the work ground cable as previously described in the CC mode and attach the clamp to the workpiece you will be welding. Next, a power segment cable available from Van Air is attached to the positive lug on the control panel and to the suitcase feeder. The suitcase itself will have a ground cable and clamp that will also need to be attached to the workpiece. Make sure the weld selection switch is flipped to the CV mode. When using the CV constant voltage welding mode, the unit will ramp up to full speed and stay until the weld selection is changed to off or the mode is changed from CV to CC. You will be able to select the DC voltage output to your required need. Fine tune the wire feed speed at the suitcase and you are ready to weld. For connection and operation of any other wire feeder, consult the manufacturer for required equipment and operating instructions. The battery charging system operates off the DC generator and not the main AC power generator. Warning: Do not charge or boost while in weld mode. Injury or machine damage may occur. Prior to hooking up any battery cables to the Aranarc 300H, connect the battery cables to the vehicle itself, red cable to positive port, black cable to negative port. Remove the red rubber protection cap. Attach battery boost cables to correct connector on remote control panel. Select battery charge option. System will default to 12 volt charge. The green LED light will illuminate to what mode has been selected. The Aranarc 300H is equipped with reverse polarity protection feature and voltage input consistency to verify that the proper boosting mode has been selected. If either of these are not correct, the fault light will illuminate. Note, if the battery on the vehicle does not have a voltage of 2.5 volts, the system will not energize. If this occurs, call Van Air for more information. In the 12 volt mode, the system will stay in standby mode and will not send hydraulic flow to the motor to produce voltage amperage until it senses a minimum of 2.5 volts DC. Note, 24 volt mode has to see above 14 volts DC. The system will illuminate the red LED fault light if the system senses that you are hooked to a 24 volt system and in the 12 volt mode or vice versa. Recheck cables and control panel to correct. The compressor requires little user interaction for operation. Turn the compressor switch on to allow hydraulic flow to begin driving the motor and compressor. Once air needs are satisfied, the system will return to standby if no more air is required. The factory setting is cut in at 120 PSI and cut out at 155 PSI. The power system within the Aranarc 300H is designed to support a multifunction project. However, if the generator is operating at a high percentage of its rated capacity and the weld and air compressor are also being used, the resulting drop in motor speed may produce a low voltage condition that will damage the generator and power tools being used. Make sure the tools that you will be operating with the generator are in the off position. Turn the generator switch on the control panel to the on position. The AC hertz and voltage meter will illuminate. Note, only plug power cords into the generator receptacles after the machine is running at full speed. Be careful not to overload the rated capacity of the generator. 6,800 watts or 28 amps at 240 volts continuous. Refer to your operation manual wattage requirements for common receptacle units for power requirements. Turn your electrical tool on. The instrument panel will detect hertz and voltage you are drawing. Between 59 and 61 hertz will give you the proper flow and engine RPM output to operate the system. 
When finished using the Aaron Arc 300H, shut off any tools or other items that are drawing power from the generator or compressed air from the air tank. Close all service valves. Unplug any power cords that are plugged into the generator panel. Turn the compressor, generator, and welder switch on the control panel to the off position. Allow the machine to run three to five minutes to allow for a cool down sequence. Turn the machine's main power switch on the control panel to the off position once you have allowed the machine to cool down. Disengage the PTO and turn the truck engine off. For further operating procedures and functions, please refer to your operational manual.